So just as an example, um, what I decided to do is I decided to hunt for uh, an print uh, instance and a display instance, right? Uh, it's supposed to be the uh, document archive for the Department of Computer Science at the University of Kota. And I'm going to harvest all the uh, content, right? Uh, and this is probably stupid, but it doesn't matter anyway. I'm going to harvest all the records from here. Uh, wait a minute. I will probably check for the uh, particular set spec that corresponds to uh, ATDs right there. Um, it's going to be faster that way. Yeah, I think so. Anyway, so if we log in as admin, remember the two, I mean the credentials that we created in the Tomcat uh, users, XML file, ATD user, ATD user, we should be able to log in. Uh, we just logged on. We don't have any uh, repositories added here just because this is a fresh install. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add uh, those two repositories. But before I add them, I want to make sure that we we actually ingesting uh, electronic theses and dissertations. Uh, I am aware of the fact that the UCT Computer Science Document Archive has uh, uh, digital objects that don't necessarily correspond to ETDs. Uh, I'll show you just now. So you notice that there's a uh, you know all sorts of things: your book, book chapters, conference, um, uh, conference papers, posters, uh, newspaper articles. Oh, I didn't know this. One preprint presentations. Who would want to uh, upload presentation? Doesn't matter anyway. But what we're interested in is actually the uh, electronic thesis or dissertations. This is 93 records, right? Uh, and we know that the best URL for uh, <coughs> excuse me to access the uh, OIPMH interface is is uh, this thing right here, right? And see if we can find specific set that we're looking for, and I'm going to search for thesis. Right, this is the set spec that we're looking for. When we go here, we are going to add a repository. Right, we will call this uh, pubs. This corresponds to the uh, this URL. Uh, the name we're just going to call this. Uh, at CS oh, we'll call it prints. oh there we go South Africa the best URL is sorry the best URL is this part here The meta pre prefix we're going to use the OAI uh, under bar DC. The set spec is what uh, I was searching for here because we're just interested in harvesting uh, electronic theses and dissertations. So I will specify that set spec. Um, we can leave these default values as they are and then ignore the two uh, items there. Right. <coughs> and what I'm going to do is before I add the other repository, I am going to attempt to harvest. Um, the remember we checked the uh what what you call this we did check the this we said this we checked the total number of uh etds that are present here um and i think according to at least according to this web interface we should have we should be able to have this 93 uh, uh etd records right and corresponding metadata obviously so what we do is we go to application and cd into the harvester module um, and if you scroll down uh, way down into this uh, user manual use the documentation you should be able to notice uh, the command that we have specified as part of what you might want to have in your cron tab right you just cd into here and then i will run the harvest script right. just Bad habit, but I always time these commands just to see how long the uh, script is taking. Sorry, and I should uh, I should sudo this command. It's 
So as we're waiting for this thing to finish harvesting, um, for the purposes of this demonstration, I figured it would make a lot more sense if we also had a few of how exactly we go about harvesting uh, content or metadata from a, a different repository. In theory, um, ETD portal should be able to harvest content um, from any uh, any repository running any type of uh, repository software as long as that repository software supports the OAI PMH uh, protocol, right? So we do know that ePrints does that and DSpace as well. Uh, and if we go to the Cobalt University's DSpace instance, I know these guys run Mannequin. Oh, sorry, not Mannequin. They run the JSP UI uh, interface, so we should be able to JSP UI. There we go. <coughs> By default, they use uh, JSP UI. I have no idea why, but doesn't matter. I tend to uh, I tend to like Mannequin more. The XML UI interface all of this. It's taking longer than usual. I wonder why. So, we seem to be done here. Uh, so we're waiting for this thing to load. Uh, this place. There we go. Uh, let's just quickly check to see if, uh, seeing as the harvester, uh, excuse me, the harvester script just finished running. Uh, it just finished. In theory, it should have finished uh, harvesting or ingesting the 93 records. Let's just try and confirm to see if this is so. It's harvested them and also indexed everything. So you should be able to search for the records that have been harvested and also you know browse through them to get a sense of. Uh, what sort of uh, metadata elements associated to the individual 93 records? Let's refresh the list. Whoa, what do you know? We have 94 and not 93. It doesn't matter. Uh, so, if we go to the home page, you should be able to see, uh, you know, uh, the top five, well, the, mo the, the five most recently uh, uploaded uh, ETDs. Uh, from the document archive at the computer science department, or at the University of Cape Town, the uh, computer science department, right? And we should also be able to search through them. Uh, I know I have my dissertation is online, so it's safe to be able to find it here. Something is amiss here. I have no idea what the problem is, but anyway, bottom line is we can see the 94 records, right? And what we are going to do here is, for the purposes of time again, we are going to concentrate on uh, a tiny subset. Uh, and I would much rather we probably harvest. Uh, ETDs from uh, a collection that I know has content, and I could have sworn I yeah there we go. So you can see from the URL here that uh, set spec 23 does have uh, some content there. So what I will do is I will list all the specs, the set specs, the sets rather. And I know it's a 23, which is this one. So what I will, sorry about the noise, someone is playing loud music outside. So what I will do is go back to the admin console, um, add repository, and this is going to be dspace, dspace at cpu, dspace at cpu in Zambia. And I know that the base URL is this part here. Notice that the base URL for DSpace is different from ePrints, right? Um, but everything that comes after the base URL, um, these are standard OI PMH uh, parameters. So uh, the web parameter acts, ac ac well, it, it accepts specific values such as uh, list sets or identify uh, things of that nature. But I digress. Sorry about that. Base URL is that thing over there, and we're going to stick to the same metadata data prefix. The set spec is what I was searching for here, which happens to be this thing here. So I'm just going to copy paste this here. I 
I'm gonna save this, right? You notice when I refresh, um, nothing has been harvested. The number of records associated to this repository is zero right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, run the harvester or the harvest script again, right? Uh, I'm gonna it in this, yeah. <coughs> and what the software does is it um, it's probably going to skip this repository because internally it does check uh, when last uh, harvesting was done on each of the individual repositories that you have listed or that you have um, associated with the software. And it's probably just going to uh, go right straight to harvesting the content from this DSpace instance at the Copper Belt University in Zambia. Right. So we have two set specs and set names corresponding to the two uh, corresponding to the two repositories that we've added here. So DSpace uh, and ePrint, pubs, CBU and UCT other. Shouldn't take long. Again, sorry about the noise outside. Oh, there we go. I wasn't uh, actually I thought it would take long, it didn't take that long. Done. Okay. So if we refresh this, you notice that uh, we have 151 records associated here. Still we have 94. And when we come up here, we should be able to see things or content from the Colville University right there. Okay. That's pretty much it. Um, uh, happy installing and happy configuring. Uh, I hope you have fun doing this. And I do hope that you decide to deploy, wherever you are, you decide to deploy. Um, the software for some large-scale uh, nationwide or institution-wide uh, uh, harvester that you might have in mind. Great. And uh, before I go, I would also encourage you to actually, um, if, if you're interested in getting a sense of how the software was implemented, I would encourage you to to read. Uh, so to read uh, this write-up by Webley, uh, Tatenda and Hussein. Um, this was written in uh, 2011 and it, it goes into uh, a lot more detail with regards to how the software was implemented and the background information associated with the software. Thank you and cheers. <coughs>